For 31 years, women in Bangladesh have been reaping the benefits of microcredit. Thanks to Grameen Bank, which was founded by Bengali economist and Nobel Peace Prize winner Mohammed Yunus, they get collateral free loans to jumpstart their businesses. The radical concept of lending money to the poorest of the poor has helped lift thousands of families out of poverty and has inspired similar projects worldwide. Now, the same banking system that helps poor women in Bangladesh has come to America. It's helping women like Elvira Medina, an immigrant from the Dominican Republic who now lives in New York. Medina wanted to boost business at her hair salon in Queens, so she applied for a loan from Grameen America, taking out $3,000 for furniture, supplies, and marketing materials. It has definitely helped me, because before I took money from people in the street, and they charged me a very high interest rate. Grameen America has provided me with money at lower interest for me to make any type of adjustment to my businesses. Without having to pay so much interest, essentially monthly, my payments are less, and that makes my situation a lot easier. Grameen focuses on those who have no access to traditional banks. Many have no credit, speak little English, and are recent immigrants who have problems navigating the complicated loan application process. Grameen America's senior vice president, Shah Nawaz, came to New York from Bangladesh to help launch the bank in the United States. He says with traditional lending, the borrower goes to the bank. But with Grameen, the bank comes to them. The business plan in their heads, but they cannot write it. So, some is, so that's why it is very difficult for them to get contract with any financial institution and to get the uh, service from them. But Grameen Bank and the Grameen methodology, we don't ask any business plan in black and white. What they do ask is that interested borrowers form a group of five people all of whom want to start a business. Amin says the group dynamic not only helps the budding entrepreneurs support each other in paying back their loans, it also helps keep them accountable. Once a week, borrowers meet at what's called a center meeting to make payments on their loans. Medina admits she was skeptical at first. In the beginning, it wasn't easy to trust such a program. I had never heard of something like this before, especially the fact that we are working with groups and we're working on a personal level. However, after talking with you and going through the rules of the program and going through the group meetings, I now have changed my mind. She pays $66 a week in payments, $60 of principal, $6 of interest much less than the rates offered by predatory lenders, who may charge 2 to 300 percent annual interest. Grameen America has 301 borrowers, all of them women. Though they do accept men, Nawaz says women have proven to be better loan candidates because they are the backbone of the family and the community. In our experiments, we have uh, sh shown that it is easy for women to attend the center meeting regularly because they are always with the house. And our program is based on the community. Sometimes the men, they are moving from one community to other community. But mother is always remain with their children and house. So far this year, Grameen has lent out more than $800,000 in loans, with a 99% rate of return. Grameen says it hopes to expand to other U.S. cities, helping to lift as many people as possible from poverty. Paige Collick, POA News, New York.